Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, as you can see, this is part two of my paint gem unboxing. Um, part one did include my little dog set, which included my little Scotty dog. Yay! So, if you want to see part one, I'll leave a link in the description down below. She says trying to get into camera. <laughs> so that you can watch that one but yeah my little scotty dog was the reason i ordered it because you don't get many scotty dog diamond paintings okay so this one is the other well the other set that i ordered and then the set that i ended up getting free due to paint gems excellent customer service when they posted out my paintings they realized that they'd sent one set incorrectly so sent me an email straight away um and said you know we've sent you an incorrect set we do apologize please keep that set don't try sending it back um and here's a voucher to order the new set you wanted which was my dogs which i'd have been heartbroken if i'd not got my dogs and uh, yes yeah, so this is what i got and they all arrived on the same day as well which is excellent customer service i say i'm really really grateful to them so again thank you paint gem so we have two sets these ones have got a little bit squished um as they're coming through the post but okay we can work with that i mean they're a good sturdy box this one's suffered a little bit more than the other one so let's have a look and just see which ones we got the wonderful boxes uh lovely branding oh no this one's squished there because they were in the box that way around so it looks like somebody's put something heavy or stood on them but as long as the things inside are okay that's fine so i love the inside of the box it's the same as the scotty dog uh, i'm gonna keep calling it the, it's the dog set it's not the scotty dog set <laughs> okay um yeah lovely harlequin -y, beautiful bright colors inside in that one and the same in that one so i love the branding excellent We've got a macaroon of wax, and it is the red wax inside these. So that one's already got a gem on it already. Look, ready to start. We're way to go up there. Okay, so that's part of your tool kit. And then you get your little bag with your tool kit in. I'll just, well, I'll open both, but I'll just uh, go through one because otherwise it'll get a bit boring, won't it, if I show you? <laughs> Two identical tool kits. Okay and we've got a three player set okay so i do like the fact that it's one of those little ziploc bags as well so nice little pencil case really okay yeah very useful um the least favorite thing is the plastic tweezers um i mean actually you know if you do like tweezers they do seem a little bit better finished off these than the black ones there's no um what can i say no bumps or extra bits on them what have they got written on them oh no it's just a code number i thought they had paint gem written on them there i just had to have a quick look no it's just a code number um for the printing of these so yeah they are what they are not something i use but they're included in the toolkit uh you little white flat bottomed boat which is very useful because these are only small paintings, teeny tiny paintings. So you only need a small amount of gems. So you could actually just use that little tray. Uh, you've got your pen grip, which is purple to match your macaroon. You've got your single place set sparkly pen. And that is a nine place set on that end and a three. So we've got a three and a nine. They're the old thicker ones, but I say I tend to, you can use these for picking up special drills and things like that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them they do still work but people do seem to prefer the thinner plastic ones um when they're working okay so that's your nice little tool kit i'll put this little macaroon in there as well and oops come on fasten across and i'll just double check that this one is the same it looks as though it's the same colours and the same everything through yeah you've got your little white tray you've got your tweezers you've got your pen uh you've got your pen squishy your pen grip i don't like the fact that they match i think that's a really nice touch and uh, yeah okay oops i'll put that one in there as well and i don't like the color purple good film that right so which one shall we look at first we'll try and go through the two 
um, I won't need to coo and ooh over them like I did on the dog set. So hopefully this one might be a bit quicker. <laughs> so let's have a look at the blues and this one. Um, I think this one might be. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the inventory sheet. Okay, they're a square gem and they are all in your bags and your little grip seal bags do have your number so this is number 30 on this one so there's 30 colours in this little set and it has all your DMC codes on your bags as well so that's handy if you do want to work from your bags and this one yeah this one is the famous art edition which I've quite fancied having a go at some of these paintings but then I thought if I get all those paintings where am I going to put them so getting mini ones you can put them all over the house and I like the fact that you've got some going the other way as well so if you've got one of those multi frames you can put your paintings in your multi frames oh win-win so yeah let's have a look through I'm not sure that I know the name of all of them um but we'll have a go and see uh yeah we've got this key code's fantastic it's huge <laughs> 30 colours, DMC code, and you've got your number of your drills there as well. Looks like 310 again is the largest number. Um, and I think that's because a lot of the images are outlined with the 310 black. Okay, so let's pop that there. And then the paintings come in these lovely little boxes. So you can keep them nice and safe. Great these if you're wanting to take a little diamond painting set on holiday with you. Make sure. you, know, you can just take this little teeny tiny box in your case well yeah you could you've got everything here that you need to do it because you don't need scissors to open up your bag so i suppose if you took the pointy tweezers out because they may or may not class those as dangerous uh, to go on a plane but you could even take these on a plane just work from your bag just have a little tray or something or just work in the box yeah say that you don't need to open the bags you don't need any scissors so mm, mm, there's an idea okay so let's have a look let's pop those in there a second and this one i don't know this one is the girl with the pearl earring sorry i don't know who they're all by um this one i can't remember the name of so i do apologize uh, this one is the scream uh, if you remember i've actually got this one but it's got a chicken on it <laughs> a chicken photo bomb in it which is excellent um i've looked through my playlists uh it was one of the uh, pr packages that i received and i just still can't stop laughing at it when i think about it so yeah so that's and is it edmund munch that did that one i think i know that one and this one is starry night was that van gogh I think it was Van Gogh, Van Gogh. I think so. I don't know. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. But don't tell me I've got them all wrong. <laughs> I only know if I'm watching painting uh, programmes. <laughs> uh, this one is The Kiss, which is a very famous one. Um, it looks excellent. I've seen some larger ones of that one and it looks excellent. But I think for the, how small these are, they are a 10 by 15 uh, centimetre fantastic they're just really really and these are a full drill one as well actually let me just measure the actual picture size so the picture size is two and a half centimeters which is six sorry two and a half two and a half centimeters goodness you'd never get any drills on it two and a half inches which is six centimeters by oh just over nine centimeters which is just over three and a half inches so yeah they're little teeny tiny pictures i mean you could cut these out if you wanted to and just have them smaller or make a smaller frame around them uh, i do believe yeah that one's 11 and a half centimeters oops it's a bit warm here today sticking to everything um by 15 centimeters which is six inches so you'd need to cut it down slightly to make it a 10 by 15 um which is a six by four inch which is like a standard photo size so they'll fit in little standard photograph frames that you can even pick up from the pound store 
Um, I know Ikea do the little tiny frames as well at a good price, but I quite like the idea of having them in one of those multi frames. I think that would look quite good, having them all together. Might make you look real sophisticated, <laughs> having all these artworks on your wall. Right, uh, this one is The Wave, and I only know that one because my first mystery painting was The Wave, and... It had glow-in-the-dark drills. Yeah, it did. It had glow-in-the-dark drills. So, yeah, I have got that one in a very large size. Now then, this one, I can't remember. I know it's like Mother and Baby. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Should have looked it up before I started doing these. Okay. And I know this one. This is the Mona Lisa. And that is amazing, considering how small that is, that you can actually tell that that is the Mona Lisa. Excellent. Uh, now then, no, I'm sorry, I don't know that one. Um, no, don't. So there's two that I don't know. So that's not bad out of what we've got. Two, four, six, eight. We've got ten in this set, and that's because the full drill. Um, the sets are all the same price, which is thirty four dollars and ninety cents. But it depends. Um, some sets have more in. My dog set had sixteen in, but they were only little tiny partial faces. Um, whereas these are all full drills, so I suppose it just works out on the price as what you've got. And then these are your sunflowers. Yay! Okay, so I think they're really good. So considering how small they are um, and that they are squares, so they are all really pixelated because they're all in little block squares. I think they've come out really well. Even the face on uh, the girl with the pearl earring, you can see that that's a face. That's amazing. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing these. And these will definitely be going up on the wall because uh, I want to look sophisticated. Uh, maybe I'll put my chicken next to them. <laughs> so I've got the screen with a chicken photo bomb in it. So yeah, maybe if I put that next to it, it'll just say, yeah, this is the sophisticated me and this is the real me. <laughs> Okay, so let's just have a quick look at these drills. I said they are all square. Um, I'll flip through them quickly because uh, oh, quite a lot. We've got a very large bag. Well, not a huge bag, but quite a big bag of uh, your B5200 whites there. We have, oh, lovely blue. So there is quite a mixture of colours in these because obviously the paintings all have different colours. I, I don't know the name of that one. And it's just gone out of my head. Um, and then another blue, got all these. Now, I've seen people have had trouble with static with these. Um, so maybe put them in the freezer before you start using them or just put a little bit of tumble dry sheet in them. Um, I think it's because they're probably resin gems, uh, but I don't know, don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, I think because we've got a set, and you're going to be probably doing one at a time. I think I'm going to kit up rather than doing them from bags and actually put them into little bottles. Um, so if they are static, it's not going to make too much difference. But if they are very staticky working from bags, it's going to be oh, awful. Uh, but yeah, I say I've not tried them. I don't know. I've not tried pouring any out and I'm not going to do it at the moment because it's such a hot day here today. Um, they probably would just ping everywhere. And uh, I can't be bothered to be getting up and down. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> okay, lots of browns there. I hope you're seeing these <laughs> while I'm wittering on. <laughs> okay. And then we have greens. So lots of different shades of green. And Mona Lisa's got a lot of greens. That's 3799. And ooh, 666. And then all the beautiful bright colours. So I think this is an excellent set. Lots of uh, different uses for them. So you could actually put them onto greetings cards as well. Um, what does 34.90? I did uh, use uh, Rebecca's code, which is four kids at 147. Uh, we'll get you 15% off your order when you get through to check out. And it says coupon box or cut. Uh, discount code pop that in there and you get 15 percent off um, and if you do spend over 50 dollars that's like ordering two sets then you do get free postage as well so to be honest i only really wanted the dogs 
I like these and I'm pleased I've got these, but I would probably have waited to buy these. But the free postage, you just think, well, it's rude not to. You've got to take advantage, haven't you? <laughs> okay, so just then some more like lemony colours, greens, and then your 310 black to finish with. Okay, this is just excellent. Um, put away and I'll get these put away and then we'll have a look at the next lot okay oh this box has got bashed up it's got a really big raised upside in it never mind it's done its job though it's kept everything uh, secure so yeah we've looked at the toolkit so we don't need to look at that we'll put that in there for now look at the bright colours in this one wow now this is the one that they sent me incorrectly this is another one of the new sets um, so I may or may not have ordered it, you know, they've, they've got some fantastic flowers. I love the space edition as well. Um, and I just love the idea of them all being little teeny tiny paintings. So let's have a look. This, as I say, is the love set. So this one I actually got free of charge because they said don't send it back. Um, it's our mistake. So yeah, thank you very much. So I've not actually really looked at this because I didn't take much notice of it. So we're all square drills in bags again with the, the key code and the DMC number on them. And I can't see how many colours are in this one, so we'll have to have a look. And we've got all these different love things. So we've got a Miss You there on an envelope. I mean, if you didn't want that Miss You, to be fair, you could just cover it over in the uh, red because I'm sure there'll be spares in these, uh, in the red drills, so you wouldn't see that. So it would just be a heart in the middle. Um, and with any spare drills left over, you could add names or little messages or anything on these. It's just the ideas keep flowing. As I say, I am a card maker. I come from a card making background. That's what I've been doing for the last uh, nearly 20 years. Um, but yeah, you could use them uh, for cards or they will go nicely in picture frames. But yeah great i love them or again you could cut them out and use them as little motifs on things you know if you seal them they're going to be pre fairly solid it's just obviously you wouldn't be able to uh i'm just thinking that's what's that got to do with love but i've got it upside down <laughs> it's a heart Liz. it's a heart yeah sorry what was i saying uh yeah so you could um, you wouldn't be able to wash them, obviously, if you put them on clothing or anything, but you could put them on handbags, on, uh, on little pencil cases, on, you know, anything really, um, even like a bike or something, I suppose. Again, it's just if the sealer um, is water soluble, so, you know, if you put them in your washing machine, the drills, unfortunately, will all just drop off. <laughs> So we've got the flower heart there, which is really, really pretty. I mean, you could use that one for um, anniversaries, weddings, anything. Just as nice for cards. I've got a friend who only likes small cards. Um, you know, I tend to do standard um, sort of half A4 folded in half cards. They're my favourite size. Or using an 8 inch by 8 inch card. They're my other favourite. But my friend prefers little cards like a C6 size card, an A6 size card um so she would absolutely love these if i did a set of cards for her so you could make them into cards and give them as presents so that people can send them out very special very nice so that one's like a love heart it's like a perfume bottle isn't it it's got like a bit at the top like a perfume bottle then we've got a balloon heart with the clouds in the background there and the little basket on the bottom oh how weird is that we've got an e um, and that's my that's my name really, isn't it? I'm uh, an Elizabeth. That's really strange. Oh, unless we've got an L O V E, maybe I'll put that one down there. Very odd. Sorry, my brain's thinking now. Yes, we have. Look, we've got a V there. I was just thinking, how did they know my name was Elizabeth? <laughs> We've then got an I love you. Again, you could cover that over in the background colours or you could put a name in there. Um, but that's some lips kissing, which is lovely. And we do have our, so we'll put the E at the end, don't we? Spell it correctly, Liz. And then we've got the V and the E in letters with all the little flowers round. And then, oh, that's nice. A little cupcake look with a heart in it and the cherry on top as well. Wonderful. Okay, it's a lovely set this actually. Yeah, um, as I say, I've not really looked at it. I couldn't have told you what was actually in it because as I say, I'd ordered the dogs. 
um, but yeah it's certainly one the colours are great aren't they and you can use them for all sorts of things so this one's like a love potion bottle yay again you can take that out and put a name on it very versatile these little sets i must admit i do uh, like them my brain is racing on all the different things i could do with these and oops let's just pop these across there and then we have our l so i could have my initial either an l or an e <laughs> I don't know what I'd do with the OV though. Um, but yeah, so that would be quite nice to do sort of in smaller frames and just have a row of your four frames lined up. Or you could put them all in one frame, or, you know, try and line them up. Um, if you've got a frame, you maybe from a distance wouldn't see that there's sort of lines that they've been cut. But yeah, I think that's a lovely idea. I like that. And then we've got a lock, but there's no key, so I'd have to give it to somebody and say, find the key to my heart. Oh, Ooh, soppy and romantic. I've definitely had a soppy uh, theme going on, haven't I, recently? <laughs> so how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in this set. So again, because this is a partial, we've got twelve in this set. Um, whereas in the full ones we only got the 10 so it does vary from set to set but yeah I quite like this set as well in fact I really like this set as well Ooh, I've just got a fly landed on me look it's just this hot weather it's awful I've got those fly killer lavender things all over the house to try and stop them coming in and they still do go away flies right so yeah I love I love the love love to love <laughs> I'm not gonna sing I'm not gonna sing all right, so let's just have a quick look at the inventory sheet and see how many colours it is. And I'm not going to take them out. But, oh, it's 33 colours. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because I think you can see all those different colours. We're going from your white to your pinks to your lavenders to purples, greens, orange and your reds and your peaches and your sort of karamaki colours, browns, and the yellow there, lovely orange, blue, pink, and a very deep pink. Oh, is that a hot pink? We'll class it as a hot pink. Yay, hot pink. <laughs> oh, no, look, I think there is a hot pink there. There's a hot pink, there's a hot pink. Oh, you can't have a set without a hot pink in it, just for me. <laughs> so they've put my initials in, and they've put a hot pink in as well. Oh, what more could I want? <laughs> Okay, right, so this is your inventory sheet, all of edition. And yep, 33 colours. Ah, and I just think this is wonderful. They're quite large though, unfortunately, to go on um, your little bottles. I think I would have to actually make them smaller, which would be a first. I suppose, no, you could cut, might be able to do it. We'll see anyway when we come to kitting up. But yeah, because the bags, this the each bag of gem is for each of the paintings. They're not sort of like gem specific for each painting, um, as some other companies do. Then yeah, you're going to be using all of these gems for all of these paintings. So for me personally, it will be better off in little bottles, so I can just pick them up or put them down. All those little twenty eight containers, you know, the little box. Um, that you get the 28 containers they'd probably be good for this as well I'll bet this one's more than 28 <laughs> but yeah I have got one actually that's 56 so I could maybe use that one um, and then I've got spares as well but yeah this is uh, super okay well uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me uh, if you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below if you have enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.